and Lil Durk are two of the hottest rappers in the game right now. They was cool with each other back in the day, but King Bomb's death in 2020 sparked a wild beef that's still going on today. Here's how it all went down. <clears throat> Durk and Youngboy never really had direct issues with each other. And back in 2017, they even linked up on the track, My Side. But Dirk was close to King Von, and that's where all the problems allegedly started. One day, Von was on IG Live listening to a young boy song in the whip. While the track was playing, Von started questioning how real young boy's lyrics were and said, You talking crazy on this man. Oh, yeah? He ain't even like that. Oh! I'm his ass, man. On his ass. That's cap. You got cap in your rap. Situation went Why down. Why this man stole here. my lyrics? Then Bond was seen chilling with young boy's baby mama, Jania. Rumors started flying that they was dating. But Bond squashed it and said they was just making music together. A few hours after Bond posted the pic with Jania, oh, Jania came, young boy bro. posted a picture and captioned it with, I'm gonna have my son with your daughter since you trolling. Then young boy announced that he was working with Bond's ex, Asian Doll. After young boy dropped a snippet of the track with Asian Doll, Bond tweeted, that new shit y'all got, garbage. And it's on I got some shit on your baby mom that'll make you not want to claim your kids and shit. Both sides said there was no beef, but then young boy dropped the track Dead Trolls. He don't drop any names in the track, but fans thought he threw subliminal shots. And he said, tell that boy I'ma see him. Tell him I say, don't come fish around this lake. And that's real. Seven, Seven murders in my hometown. Tell, tell him to I did that. As soon as the other boy touched down, I'm going to be pushing this wig back. It's rumored Don't to be named that mom. That ain't been confirmed. Bond and Youngboy started going back and forth on social media. Then the crews got involved too. One of the dudes who jumped in on Youngboy's side was Quando Rondo, the first rapper Youngboy ever signed. Yo. Rondo was sending shots at Bond and his homie Lil Reeks, and the situation started getting heated. That's when Quando's homie Lil Tim tweeted, From Chirac, better chill on my Quando. But back in 2019, somebody tweeted Reese and said, all you need is an at GG Youngboy feature for this to blow. Spend that check at Lil Reese 300. No. Reese obviously wasn't rocking with the advice and tweeted, I won't dare pay a little boy to get on a track with me. Youngboy ain't respond. Nigga, no, you want to make a song with Youngboy. Just want to help turn up the beef between him and Oblock. Even though everyone could see there was static, Von denied there was any beef. The day before he was killed in Atlanta, DJ Academics asked him about it, and Von said, They be saying that a lot. It's like we got the same issues in there. And then you know how the internet will try to make it. Don't tell me I got problems over girls. No, it's the internet, gang. It's the, it's the, you know. Then on November 6, 2020, Quando Rondo and his homies were outside a hookah lounge in Atlanta when Juan and his crew walked up. Quando told Angela Yee that he didn't even know who it was and he was just going to let him pass. He said, In my mind, I'm just thinking regular in reality, like you would think. I'm about to let these people walk past me. I'm not about to try to go through these people or nothing like that. Next thing you know, a nigga hit me. You feel me? Boom, bam. Man, like, I lied to you not, man. I lied to you not. Like, like, it's like I had an out-of-body experience. After Von started throwing hands, a wild brawl broke out, and then both sides started letting off shots. Von was allegedly hit multiple times by Quando's homie Lil Tim, who also got shot but survived. According to Quando, he didn't even know it was King Von until the next day. He no. Said, I never in life, man, never in life had words with them. I didn't know this was him. And, man, I swear to God, on my soul, man, like, like, man, this is a neighborhood crip, man. I did not know that was him to the next day. Bond's death no. came under a lot of negative attention, which led to his shows getting canceled and him getting death threats every day. When the news broke that Lil Tim was out on Bond for his murder charge, Lil Reese said, We gonna roll his ass up real soon. He ain't dead yet. Big ass backwoods. You know, big, big backwoods. Backwards, we gonna roll his ass up. No. Dirk was never directly involved in Young Boy's beef with Von, but all that changed after Young Boy dropped Bring the Hook and called O Block out by name and this Von. On the track, he rapped, This that squid game. O Block Peg get rolled up. up. Murder what they told us. Atlanta Boy get folded up. up. After the track drop, DJ Academics tweeted, NBA Young Boy on Demon Time right now. And Lil Reese responded with, That ain't no demon time. He just rapping like the rest of these rappers all rap. No. And Ali Chaba jumped in and responded to Reese with, I stamped that. A 
A couple days later, Youngboy dropped the track No Like I Know and took shots at NLE Chopper on the line. I bet your mama be destroyed when we said your stupid ass to God for making statements. Choosing mm -hmm. sides by my feet with them little boys. boys. I can say I saw it. You can say I was your favorite. Better stay up in your place. Better stay in your face place. They know I'm a demon. You ain't met the devil till they see me. Young boy allegedly took a shot at Dirk and Reese on the same track when he said, I don't know mm -hmm. my Just like your friend, you'll bite the dust. That ain't blood. You ain't ready to see some brains around the club. Man, no. Young boy posted a photo on IG of himself posting with a bunch of cash on the floor that spelled out, You gonna die. No. Another one where the cash spelled out, Stay, stay safe. safe. Dirk clapped back by spelling out, Hurry y'all up with his own cash. No. And the beef really started. NLE Chopper told DJ Academics that he told Dirk not to respond to Young boy. But back in February, Dirk dropped the track Aha and took things to the next level. On the track, Dirk rap, it's acting like they really like that since my Brody died. Just got out the feds, you bring up murders with your police ass. He was airing out young boy for bringing up street business while he was still on house arrest. Then he went after young boy's baby mama Jania and said, I told Von to leave that bitch alone. She posts on OnlyFans. Catch him at apartments they be in, cause that's our only chance. Hey, what's her OnlyFans? Same day AHA dropped, young boy clapped back with, I hate young boy. He took shots at Dirk, yeah. his dead homies, and even Apple got this. He started off the track by calling out Dirk for not sliding after his cousin Nooski got killed back in 2014. Then he went after Dirk's fiance, India Royale, with the line, he called me a bitch. That's that India, India. That be your hoe. Pulse with that stick like Indians. Indians. They want my Oops. soul. Young boy also shouted out Dirk's op with the bar. I'm bumping Wooski. Turned up with some groupies while at my home. Why he dropped that weak ass song? Pussy, you should have known. known. You should have known. Wooski is Dirk's enemy from STLEBT, who's been beefing with him for years. So young boy gave him a shout out to let everyone know who he's rocking with in Chicago. Young boy and Dirk are two of the biggest rappers in the game right now. And they beef got everyone in the industry Man, the young boy the biggest rapper. Young boy let people know that if they rock with Dirk, they ops too. He even called out Gucci Mane for working with Dirk and sent shots at Apple for promoting his music. Back in June, 21 Savage went on rapper Matt Papa's podcast, My Expert Opinion, and talks about the situation. 21 has worked with Dirk and Youngboy in the past, and Hoffa asked him how he would handle two friends beefing. How does that work when... Can't do nothing about it. ...is out a problem with somebody else that you... I'm gonna try and squash it first. I'm gonna try and figure out a way for them to get rid of the problem. Cause I ain't no fake. But when Hopper asked him about the Dirk and Youngboy situation, 21 said, Yeah, certain shit you can't even, you don't try. Mm hmm. Just say shit, shit. You just know, man. Ain't no business. Ain't no trying. Back in July, Youngboy's homie, Rich the Kid, was spotted chilling with Dirk in the Hamptons. Fans started going crazy online. Rich hopped on IG and wrote, First off, I love all the fans, but y'all gotta show the fuck out. Top my brother in real life. Not this weird ass internet world y'all live in. And if you see me somewhere, I was paid. Uh. Rich captioned the post with, If my bro ain't tripping on it, why the fuck you folks eating my Y'all can't wait to see it crash out. <laughs> Some fans thought the beef might be over if Youngboy was cool with his homie chopping it up with dirt. But then in August, Youngboy let everyone know it was still on. Youngboy dropped the last album on his deal with Atlantic Records on August 5th, and he allegedly trolled Dirk with the album merch. One of the shirts he dropped shows a bulletproof vest on the front, along with the words, mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's not a direct shot, but fans immediately linked it to Dirk's aha track. The beef has been pretty quiet for the last few months, but it's probably only a matter of time before something else sparks a new round of diss.